Now, in this video, we will going to discuss about the supply chain performance in India. It involves multiple dimensions and the focus is our performance both in terms of inventory turnover ratio at the organizational level and logistic cost at the economy level. So it should be inventory turnover ratio at the organization level. That means the inventory turnover that is the storage capacity at the organization level and the logistic cost at the economy level. That means the transporting, carrying cost and all these things will come under logistics. Logistic cost include inventory carrying cost, transporting cost and logistic administration cost. And the logistic cost in India are quite high when compared with the other countries. So the logistic cost uh, when compared to the other countries, India is at very high cost. One could agree that since customer service expectations are not the same across the countries, logistic cost may not be strictly comparable. So that means the transporting cost and inventory carrying cost and logistics uh, administration costs will not be uh, one which will going to be comparable as strictly comparable as tariff levels have been coming down with globalization so once because of the international market the tariff is continuously coming down logistic is cost do become comparable to a significant extent so because of that reason the globalization the logistic cost will going to play a major role. Higher logistic costs definitely affect the competitiveness of the Indian industry. Firms often argue that inefficiency in the transport and warehousing makes it difficult for them to compete in the global market. That means the inefficient in the transport, that is the transportation of products and warehousing and the storage makes it difficult for them to compete in the global market. For example, the cost of sending an export cargo to Mumbai from Punjab and that of shipping it further to London from Mumbai are the same. So that means the cost which will going to take place to cargo within India and then to from and to go to London from Mumbai, the cost will going to remain the same. So that is the imagination how you can be able to take care. Variable transit time and in transit damages make transportation in India a very expensive affair. Then comes the supply chain strategy and performance measures. So customer service and cost trade-offs. As a part of its business strategy, the firm decides the market segment in which it wants to operate and the level of customer service it wants to offer. For a given supply chain, design firms generally have an efficient frontier which defines the nature of trade-offs between supply chain costs and the customer service ideally firms prefer to provide a very high level of customer service so that means the firm is very much interested in providing a customer very high customer service that means high variety short delivery time so this is very plays a very major role that is short delivery time at very low cost. So this is the cost of service with respect to low and high. This is the service level and this is the efficiency curve for the frontier and inefficient practices. So the above the curve will going to be the inefficient practices and this is the existing position and this gap will going to be the inefficient practices because due to this how the curve will going to change. This is the cost of service. So if a firm wants to improve the performance on the customer service front, it must accept deterioration in performance on the cost front and vice versa. So that means this is the cost of the service. As the service level goes from low to high, the cost of service also gets increasing. So that means high level of service means naturally the cost of the service will going to be increased. Now. For example, if a pizza company delivering the pizza in 40 minutes wants to deliver in 20 minutes, so naturally the cost would increase. So that is how when we compare with this, 
so when you are considering uh, 40 minutes this is the service level is low so when it is a 20 you will go into 40 minutes so when it is at the 20, uh, 40 minutes so then it will going to be low as the service level is to be increased to 20 minutes then the cost would increase so because the transportation time has to be reduced so since the trans transportation time has to be reduced naturally they should be having a change in the transformation uh, transportation mode so naturally the cost involved will be going to be high referring to figure a provides a lower envelope below which a firm cannot choose to operate so that means below this level the service cannot take place operate then efficient firms can choose to operate on any point of the efficiency frontier a firm may choose to provide lower service levels at lower cost or higher service levels at higher cost but it cannot hope to provide higher level of customer service at lower cost so that means lower cost low, uh, lower service and lower lower cost higher service level at higher cost but it cannot have the intermixing that is the higher level customer service at the lowest cost if the supplier chain operates by a typical firm or to be mapped the somewhere above the efficiency frontier curve as shown in the figure a this is because most firms do not operate their supply chain efficiently so that means you have the existing position and you want to have the above the service so this these are all the inefficient practices which comes under this category wherein this will going to be the efficient frontier then if the supplier chain operations of a typical firm are to be mapped the somewhere the uh, above the efficiency uh, frontier curve as this is because most firms do not operate their supply chains efficiently in 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 efficiency execution of supply chain processes results in gaps between existing and potential performance as defined by the efficiency frontier a company works to optimize its performance based on the interaction between the revenue curve that is price into demand and the total cost curve so this is the revenue this is the low to high the service level wherein you will going to form the s shape curve in the figure c bigger b and with respect to figure c again we have the low to high efficiency then uh, this is the revenue level and this is the actual curve we are going to have above which this is going to have an s-shaped curve and below this is going to have the profit contribution so this is the nature of curve what you will going to get in figure b the revenue response to customer service level is usually found to be an s-shaped curve first there is a minimum threshold level of service below which the firm is not able to attract many customers similarly there is a beyond which an improvement in service will not produce a significant increase in demand resulting in service overkill so naturally because when you have the uh, high uh, standard has been achieved after that even after uh, having a very high significant increase in demand so there will not be having any much uh, been left out in this a cement company found that service level dealers were willing to wait up to a day for delivery and improvement in the delivery to less than a day did not have any appreciable change in demand on the other hand if the company worked with a two day delivery time it lost about 20 percent of the potential demand so that means they are trying to work in the lower threshold so thereby they are losing the 20 percent demand the total cost increase exponentially with increase in service while revenue follow on s shaped curve therefore it will be optimal for a firm to operate at a specific level of customer service as shown in figure c so this is this is the profit contribution wherein you will going to have the cost increase and also we are going to have the s shape so at low and high between these two we will going to have this customer service here um, exponentially with increase in service while revenue follow on s shaped curve and therefore it will be optimal for a firm to operate at a specific level of customer service so this is the specific level at the customer service this level and this level however is not always static but changes with customer taste and competitive offering affecting the shape of the revenue curve while supply chain innovations affect the customer service 
so this level however is not always static that means it is not constant but it changes with the customer's taste and competitive offering so whatever the offerings they do for the customer that depends on that affecting the shape of the revenue curve while supply chain innovations affect the customer surface so in the next video we will going to talk about the supply chain perspective customer services thank you